Romania, the National Bible Reading Campaign, wanting to go through the uh, Share Jesus Without Fear method, kind of with the orthodox twist to that. Uh, they, they really have a problem with the word pokui, the, the repenter. Uh, for some reason, the, the orthodox have kind of won that battle with making the, the word repenter look uh, like a horrible, horrible name. Uh, many, many stories there, but we want to kind of work with the strength of the Orthodox uh, as far as they're concerned, which is their saints, all their icons, and all the people they have venerated over the years. I, I try to move in the direction of John the Baptist, Jesus, Peter, Paul, and, and where they have taught that people must repent. So in the Share Jesus Without Fear, the Orthodox version, uh, I like to go to Matthew chapter 3, verse 2, where John the Baptist is saying, Pokoitiva, and uh, it's talking about fleeing from the wrath of God, uh, the kingdom of God is near, and then we would go to um, Acts, no, Matthew, the gospel of Matthew, same gospel, we've gone from 3-2 with John the Baptist to chapter 4, verse 17, and where Jesus said, you must repent, Pokoitiva, uh, and then it's even to Andrew, who, uh, if you read through there, um, is one of their saints. So we see once again where we're, we're including their saints with our message. They must repent with Jesus' message. So we can take St. Peter in Acts 2.38 where he says, Pokuitiva, and explain to them once again they need to repent of their sins. And we can go to Acts 17 and once again from Acts 17.30 and then around that area, Paul says, you must repent. So we, we, we're working with the Orthodox on their concept of saints, and we teach them what their saints have said, which is a word they despise, uh, pokuit, which is to repent. Now, in America, Christians really are known as hypocrites, but here uh, Christians are, are known really as repenters, which I, I wish that was the truth in America. So the, the fact that only 1% of the country here is uh, repenters gives them a bad name. It's like they betrayed their faith. But when we point out that uh, John the Baptist said repent, Jesus said repent, Peter said repent, and Paul said repent, then we start to make some uh, little tink in their armor and they begin to see that maybe it's okay to follow those who have repented and follow Christ now. So once again, that's the orthodox twist to share Jesus about fear. We haven't used that one much, but we're going to. Uh, use it more and more in the future because I noticed that uh, they need to get that message that they have to repent of their sins to be saved. Uh, turn from their sins and put their trust in Christ. And I hope you've done that and I hope you've learned a little bit from our series on Share Jesus Without Fear.